for the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Hey, welcome to End of This Corner, bringing you another episode of Unanimous Decision. And today, who are we talking to, Bill? Hey, I told you before, stop playing with us, man. We got a good one. You heard what he said, Unanimous Decision. That's our exclusive interview series. And today, we got a good one. We had to reach in our bag to go get this one right here. But this beautiful woman, she's a part of one of the most iconic R&B female groups of all time. They gave us just kicking it. They gave us understanding and they gave us that monster smash. Who can I run to? She's an author and dropped the cookbook. She just recently released a new single called Tonight featuring Method Man. Today, we have none other than Tamika Scott of Escape. All right, I want a good, clean fight. Let's get it on. Hey, welcome to End in This Corner. We got the lovely Miss Tamika. Tamika, you ready to step in this ring? I am ready. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Miss Tamika, first off, we want to thank you for coming on our platform. Um, we want to give you your flowers, obviously. Escape is one of the... Uh, greatest groups of all time um all kind of accolades record sales timeless music and uh we want to thank you and your uh your your band your band members uh, for giving us timeless great iconic music thank you thank you yeah awesome. absolutely welcome so um there is no list without, uh, that doesn't have escape, in my opinion, and from what I've seen, that's a top five female R&B group of all time, right? Wow. No list, you know, escape is always there. Um, have you ever sat back and thought about how, if there was no escape, music actually would change? I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think it'd be any different because you still had the Trailblazers that came before us. You had the Jades, you had the CLC, you had the SWVs, you had the Invogues, you had a lot of um, great musical artists that came before us. I, I don't want to say that it would have been any different, but I'm glad that we were able to leave an imprint in the 90s and all the way to now. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. And I'm, I'm as a fan, I'm glad you guys left an imprint as well. So let's take it back from the beginning. So how did you and your sister Latasha get connected with Tiny and Candy to form Escape? Well, I met Tiny in middle school. So she and I became friends. And then I met Candy in high school. And at the time, my sister was in a group. She was in a singing group. But the girls were real pretty. They just couldn't sing. So, <laughs> so me and Candy used to sing it all the time. And I was like, you know what? I told my sister, you need to be in the group with us because those girls are not helping you at all. They're just cute and you doing all this singing. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So it was one day she was helping me and Candy with our notes and she came in and then we started doing like a three-part harmony. And we was like, see, this is what we need. And then we started mm -hmm. singing at church. And then Candy brought in one of her friends named Tam Tamara from high school. But Tamara was really not really feeling the group thing. I think her mom wanted it more than she did. So when it came to rehearsal, she didn't want to rehearse. She had song and all our voices, our voices are like stronger. And her voice was like really like bright and light. So it was like, uh, and I knew we needed, we was missing something. So I told Tiny, I was like, look, we, I'm in a singing group. Now I want you to come. And I told them about it. And they were like, well, she's going to have to audition. So I was like, all right, cool. So I told her, I was like, look, just have a song ready, you know, have a dance step ready. But when she got there, Candy and Tasha was like, um, let me see, can you do a split? And I was sitting there like, what that kind of split? <laughs> but baby girl, she did not just do a split. She put that leg up in the air because she, she was a main threat. She put that leg in the air, bam, and fell into a split, came back out and just started punching on the ground. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, yeah. Like she was asking, they were asking her to do things that they couldn't do. Mm. And then they were like, okay, let me hear you sing. And then she sung and everybody was just blown away because this little bitty voice, what was coming out of it, that little bitty body was a big voice, I meant. So, you know, after that, the next day, it took them a whole day to say yes, but I already knew she was in, we needed her voice. We needed that soprano, soprano voice. So 
she made it and then we became escape we had a couple of names but it took us a couple of years to really get to the name escape and i think escape fit us because we always escaped the stereotype back then you know you had the really cute good girls with the little cute little skirts the little light skin real pretty hair girls and you had like like really really cute girls we were from the hood okay mm-hmm. we yeah. dressed like where we were from baggy jeans Flat, big flannel shirts. We have piece, to open with a black top suits. showing. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have on dicky suits, a hat backwards. So we escaped the norm that you had to look a particular way in order to sound like we sound. So it fit mm-hmm. us. It fit yeah. us real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's, um that's, yeah. that's yeah, that's dope. I, I, I remember almost like a kind of re- when you guys came out, kind of reminded me of a uh how TLC came out, you know. Aggie clothes overall. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were so colorful. They were really cute. TLC was more happy and colorful. We were more like we just came out of jail. We were like grunge. Yep. Right out of the prison system. (laughs) Yep. Y'all had that grunge look. Yep. I remember. And I think um as a fan, me growing up on Escape, um, I would say uh you guys you guys age like fine wine in regards to your being upward and eastbound. And what I mean by that is social media has really blessed the group. So I feel more connected with the group now than I did back in the day, because I get a chance to see how y'all, you know, you guys all got different personalities as individuals, everyone in the group, star power, right? So you guys have benefited heavily off of social media presence, whether it's being in heavy rotation through uh, songs constantly going uh, viral on TikTok, you guys have figured out a, a a formula, right? So with you, you've kind of been able to kind of parlay that into a, a to solo success. As proven as you are, do you ever feel nervous about stepping out on a stage by yourself? I be nervous when I be with the girls. Like, <laughs> we still doing shows. And when we be on the side of the stage, we always have this, this mantra that we do. We all grab each other. We just hug. And we, we Our foreheads touch. And it's like, we just breathe in and we breathe out. And it's like, okay, you know, we got to do this for our fans. And at that moment, my heart be beating fast. The music comes on. And then by the time we get out on the stage, my nerves calm down a little bit, but I get nervous every show. Mm. And I don't know why I can't control those nerves, but because we want perfection. We want to make sure that we give our fans what they're paying to see. Mm. So, yes. To answer your question, yes. yes. So by right. myself, it's even worse because <laughs> I don't have my girls look to the right or to the left. I'm on the stage by myself, mm. but I love what I do, and you know I feel amazing. And and speaking on the um, being solo, you dropped tonight fe- featuring Mr. Tacal Method Man. Um, <laughs> I think. In my in my opinion, it's a per it's a it's a great blend of um Phil Collins in the air and one mic, if I'm not mistaken. That's I, yes, I think that's, that's yes. I know that's what I hear, right? Yes, that's what the producer Jason B's had in mind when, okay. when he did the track. He definitely had that in mind. Um and because it was such a New York driven song, I had to have that New York flavor. And who was the best person to get? Then meth, man. Gotta get meth. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get meth. Yeah. Yeah. And so you got meth. You got the uh, the 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 beat, and then you have your powerful vocals, right? Uh, what's what's the history behind the song? The song. I want people to celebrate themselves. You know, so often we forget to just take out time to just say, "Hey, I accomplished this," or "I did really good on this." And I wanted that song to remind you, you know, tonight I'm not worried about no kids, ain't worried about no bills, ain't worried about no ex bar friends, nothing. I'm going to take this time and celebrate me. I'm not worried about no haters because tonight is is my night and we're going to mm-hmm. celebrate. Mm-hmm. So that was the, that was, it's a feel good song and it's an awareness song to, hey, you know, do you sometimes, mm-hmm. but tonight is when I'm going to do me. Uh, lo- <laughs> love the messaging. All right. So um, I do want to bring up you know, a, a heavy piece of your uh, your resume, which is the So So Deaf family. You guys are so you guys are considered. Well, So So Deaf is considered uh, one of the most recognizable, iconic record labels of the '90s, mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't really give Escape credit for being 
the first so so deaf official act, right? Um, when you think of when I think of so so deaf, everyone thinks of you think of Bow Wow, you think of the Brat, Jagged Edge. Um, you guys were the first act on that label. Do you guys feel and and by the way, you come out the gate and you go platinum? Do you feel like you guys get respect that you deserve from your so so deaf label mates? I feel like now we, we're starting to. It was a time period when we broke up and Jermaine would do interviews mm -hmm. and it bothered the girls. It bothered them because he wouldn't mention our names. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we came back together, we were like, hold on, J.D. Whenever you talk about social death, you call out everybody but escape. What is yeah. it? And he was like, well, I, you know, I don't really like talking about y'all because y'all broke up and I didn't want the question on why did y'all break up? We was like, OK, yeah, doing all that. But we still built the house. Yeah, so you good. cannot neglect the fact that Escape built the house and we feel mm -hmm. some kind of way. And he was like, you know, he was like, he manned up. He was like, you know, my bad, you know, because you girls, y'all, and then he gave us our flowers. And, you know, that was all we really wanted. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the So So Deaf, this is the 30th year that So So Deaf has been, um, you know, been here. Yeah, so yeah. he's doing a big festival in Atlanta in October. Mm -hmm. To no. celebrate that 30th year, and guess who will be there? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> wasn't it the 25th or the 20th that you guys did in Atlanta? I think it was the 25th. Was it, was it okay? The 25th, yeah. So Ludacris and Jeezy and yeah, I, Jay Z, I caught, yeah, Usher, uh, Usher, Mariah Carey. Yep. yep, I caught it on. Oh, um, I think it was, uh, the 20th. it was a it was a 20th. Was it the 20th? Okay, okay, it was the 20th. Okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, shouts out to Escape for being the first. Criss Cross wasn't the first. Escape was the first. Yeah. So yeah. people, y'all need to make sure y'all know that. <laughs> um, I follow Ricky Smiley. I see that you have uh, been sitting in that seat for, for your social deaf label mate. Uh, shouts out to the brat for having uh, her baby. Shout, shout out to her. Beautiful baby, yeah. Uh, beautiful baby. Congratulations. Um, how have you enjoyed your time on the radio? And would that be an avenue you consider doing full time? Um, I love it. You know, if the opportunity presents itself, I will definitely hop on it. But it's fun. You know, in the morning, even everybody, their energy just you know, it's almost like a family when you walk mm -hmm. in. It feels good. And the, the, how they embrace you, it feels really good. And Ricky, like, Ricky is the man. Let me tell you, he is the man. So mm -hmm. I'm loving it. You know, I'll be there tomorrow as well. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I, it's it's me. I'm very personal. So that's right up my alley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you, ha you have the personality. And I tell you what, um, we don't just do interviews. We do uh, a lot of different other things. So you can always come on our channel and co-host and do something. Thank you. Uh, we would definitely love to have you on to uh, to do one of our other uh, episodes. Thank you. Ooh, okay, now. I'm telling you. We got, we got something called Who Did I'm, It I'm Better? Saying, instead of saying uh, actress, singer, chef, um, host, we'd be like, DJ. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we got something called Who Did It Better, where we compare, like, matter of fact, we did it with Escape. We did it yeah. with Escape and the, was it the, was it Mary Jane Girls? No. The who Can I Run To? Who Can I Run To? So we compare, like, who did it better? Escape oh, my goodness. The Jones Girls. The yeah. Jones Girls. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I said Mary yes, Jane. honey. They did it better. Okay. I, I mean, we, 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 well, we, we back to differ, and we're not saying that just because you're here. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. Y'all we'll got see my vote that. on that. One. <laughs> you know, uh, the the testament to somebody who did it better is when you uh, don't realize it's a uh, it's cover. a uh, cover until cover. you like in your thirties. So I didn't even know that was a cover until I got into my thirties. So that definitely is a testament to how strong y'all version was. But shout out oh, wow. to the you know shout out. The, the originators, well. yes, the originators, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. But not not just on radio. I think your face is uh, popping up in a lot of places. So some of it's uh, reality uh, shows, and not just you, but some of your uh, escape teammates as well. Some of it is verses. Some of it is basically, like I said, the TikTok uh, music that we see. A lot of your um, your hits go viral constantly. So escape is a group. Like I said, you guys seem to get popular over time, and you guys have 
for some reason figured out that formula on how to make social media work for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a strategy that you guys have for remaining popular or is it purely organic? It's, I think it's organic. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we are doing what we love to do. We don't do it to say, hey, we hope somebody can see us or hey, let's do this for social media. It's like, hey, we're going to do this and we can document it as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it just works. It works. It's definitely a blessing. But I think, you know, just being able to talk to our fans and allow our fans to see us in a different light outside mm -hmm. of Jesse Skate, it helps us as well. Mm -hmm. And we talk back. We talk back to our fans. We respond back to our fans. Even when they clap back, they clap, I clap mm -hmm. back. So I'm here responding it. to my <laughs> You see it? <laughs> Y'all better stop playing with it to me because she go clap back on you. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you now. She tell, she's telling you right <laughs> now, you leave it alone. She's going to clap back. I might, I might have to do a little jab underneath, but then I, I take it down after they see That's it. I'm like, I mean, leave me alone. You know, come on my page with that mess. <laughs> <laughs> they just try to troll, try to get you out your character. Yeah. That's all it is. But um, Barry just mentioned verses, and we are very uh, big on verses. And Mother's Day, you got with your sisters of SWV, and you guys put on a classic, classic, classic verses. Um, Thank you. Classic. What was that? What was that experience like? It was amazing. I mean, it was even more amazing for me because I was able to cater the verses. So you know, I'm doing my cooking mm. thing. Mm. So I was able to feed the girls. So I was like, okay, mm. yeah, it's, it's it's about me and filling their bellies up before we do this. Before we kick their butts, I had to feed them first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so did did you watch any of the other verses? Yes. Yes. Okay. I did. Who who uh any favorites? Um DMX was one of my favorites because I love the way he started it off with the prayer. Mm. And that just resonated with me. I was like, wow. You know, if we ever do a verses, that's exactly how I want to start it off. Just giving mm -hmm. God thanks and praise for mm -hmm. for just being you know, having longevity in this this business this long and the fact that we're all still alive, all four original members. It's yes. definitely a blessing. Beautiful. So that yeah. way, then after he after he prayed, he started busting heads. So <laughs> I love that one. That was one of my favorite verses. Absolutely. Of all uh, and and I mean, something's coming in September. So we were told uh, Puff and JD. So we go yes. see it, uh, that's see one it. to me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we're gonna see some guest appearances. A lot sure. of people sleeping on JD. But JD people. has so many hits out there. Yeah. He has so many hits. Puffy have hits. JD have hits too. JD so this, has this is going to be, I'm going to be like front and center on this yeah. verse. I'm going to be front and center and jamming. I might have a little versus party. If they don't, if he don't call us out on stage, I may have a versus party, but we'll see. <laughs> shout out to JD and shout out to Puff and shout out to versus yeah. Tim and, uh, uh, Swiss is making that happen because this is gonna be monumental. Yeah. That was and gonna it, be big. It'll be fitting it, it, for the 30th year anniversary too. That'll be beautiful. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We want to see you. We want to see you in the audience. If you get a chance to jump on stage too, we'll we'll clap for that. I need I need them vocals. I need them yeah. hard vocals. <laughs> Keeping tight lip. So maybe. Um, I do want to run off some names here. Um, these are just JD, Seal, Organized Noise, Daryl Simmons. Key Sweat, you guys work with a lot of R&B royalty. Yes. What super producers do you guys wish you got a chance to work with that you never did? We always wanted to work with Babyface. We had a chance mm -hmm. to work with Babyface. We wanted to work with Puffy back in the day. And he had a song for us, but Jermaine wouldn't let us do anything outside of Soto Del. I never knew it was a rivalry back then. I guess it was like a, a, a little rivalry. You got two... Cause they were both young, you know. We came out when we were like 19, 20, and Jermaine was like 20, 21. We were really young, mm -hmm. so you know, he was more selfish, like, These are mine, these are my yeah. babies. No, so we really wanted to work with Puffy because I know Puffy could have given us that 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 uh club track yeah. that you could bob your head to. You know, most of our songs are like laid back, you know, mid tempo or love songs, but we don't really have that many up. Upbeats and Puffy did have a song for us, but you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to do it. Mm. Oh man, I, I mean, that and that would have been that New York Connect as well. So, yes, yeah, that, that, I mean, yeah that's, and that's the not, not just y'all, but JD, just a lot of Atlanta artists were just struggling to even get that respect. So, some of that 
was at play as well. But yeah, I, it would have yeah. been. I, I agree with you. It, it would have been nice to hear a collab with Escape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Mickey, you're a mom, your wife, your singer, guest host. <laughs> glamma, don't forget I'm a glamma, glamma, glam mom, and an author. Uh, you released a cookbook, which we're gonna provide in our link, uh, a link in our description. Um, in my opinion, nothing better than a southern woman that can cook. Mm. I, hey. I, mean, <laughs> I saw that mac and cheese, and that last week I saw I saw what you was cooking. I'm like, man, I need me a plate shipped down to Florida. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Um, I'm going to assume you like, you enjoy cooking and, uh, but what, what prompted you to release the cookbook? Well, during pandemic, um, I was home with my family and I, re- I remember cooking a meal and I posted it on my social media and my fans went into a frenzy, like you cook that you can cook. And I was like, yeah. And I kept like every day I would post cause I was cooking every day I would post. And they were like, how did you make this? Oh my gosh. How did you do that? And my husband, he always been telling me I need to do a cookbook. But I was like, I don't want to do a cookbook because you know how some people are when they they're used to you doing one thing. That's all they accept from you. you like I sing, oh, she's a singer. So they never looked at me like, oh, you know, she's a cook. But when they saw me doing it in the kitchen, they were like, oh, my gosh. And my husband was like, just do it. Mm -hmm. And I penned the cookbook and I've been getting great reviews and everywhere I go, they're like, oh my gosh, we love your drink, your adult beverages. And then somebody was like, girl, the other day I got a, I have, I got a uh, DM and she was like, I, li- I went in the chapter that foods that get you in the mood. She's like, and I made that water, the watermelon jello shots, they were good. And my man lasted. I was like, I'm glad he did, girl. <laughs> I brought that up, you know, up. That's your aphrodisiac. So- <laughs> and that's the, that's the beauty of um, um, social media. I mean, you might throw the DM out and you never you you never know you may get that response back so that's 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 pretty cool that you know she got your book made what you made what you you know your 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 recipe hit you up and you hit it back yeah. yes so that's 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 actually that's really dope that's yeah, real dope it, and i i agree with uh bill it's also dope to just like you said see you kind of branch off to kind of show your versatility mm-hmm. because that is a it's tough to stick the landing on that because people got to remember you guys were at your peak during mm-hmm. prime years of R&B. So you had legendary groups like TLC, SWV, and Vogue. Total is some of your contemporaries. Female R- uh, R&B groups, they aren't promoted today like they were in yesteryears. While you were in it, did you see the industry moving away from that? Or is that something that just kind of happened? Well, I mean, the 90s era was the R&B era. Before yeah. it was like hip hop, it was you know rap, and then R&B came, which was like the feel good music. The music was stories, music to make you get girls pregnant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it took over in the nineties, and then in the two thousands, that's when you know rap came back around. Yeah. So then you started seeing all these new artists with rap and R&B, like kind of faded in the background, mm-hmm. and it's like now R&B's coming back. Yeah. So, you know, you have your scissor, you have your summer walkers, you have you have a lot of artists that's bringing back that feel good music. And I think just history repeats itself. And it's just time for, you know, R&B right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the women are carrying the torch right now. Uh, like you, you Yes, we are that. on a rap, rapping and in, in R&B. Yes, they we are. are. So yeah, what, they, they uh, are. Uh, speaking of carrying the torch, like what's what's up next for Escape? And more importantly, what's up next for Tamika? Well, you know, Escape, we're still doing shows. We're still doing, we're still selling out arenas. We just did New York. We sold out, um, was it Madison? No, that was Madison Square Garden. Where were we? Um, the Barclays Center. Mm. We sold out the Barclays Center. And it, was, it was amazing, amazing feeling. Um, so we're still touring. And outside of that, you know, I'm promoting my single tonight with Method Man, getting great reviews on that. And I'm still promoting my cookbook. And I also have my own seasoning line called Tamika Scott Southern Fuse. Oh, so wow. I'm promoting that. I do a lot of pop-ups at um, women conferences and I get a chance to speak and mentor to the women, you know, ins- inspire them. And then they get to come to my booth and, and buy my seasoning and my cookbook. <laughs> yeah. We're we going to make it easier on the listeners too. We're going to include all those links in our all description. Those links. Folks, yep. make sure you check that stuff out. If it tastes as good as it looks on social media, we got a problem. Um, Tamika, 
I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, you just lasted 12. Well, we just lasted 12 rounds with a champ. So mm -hmm. how do you feel? I feel good. The champ is here. The champ <laughs> is here. <laughs> All right, where, um, as if they don't already know, where can the, uh, people find you on social media? Oh, you, on Instagram, the real Tamika Scott. Uh, IG, the that is Instagram. Chat, Facebook, Tamika Scott. I'm on Threads now, yeah. the real Tamika Scott. On um, Twitter, it's official T Scott, and I have my own YouTube channel. Y'all gotta go and subscribe and like all my videos. I have mm -hmm. some dope videos of me and the girls behind the scenes in the dressing mm -hmm. room, like candid videos. Where you like, oh my gosh, did she get that? Like, you get to see them in a different way than yeah. you see them on TV. So mm -hmm. it's the real Tamika Scott for my YouTube channel as well. Well, we'll flash yeah. all that on the screen. And ladies yep. and gentlemen, um, we want to hear from you. Uh, what's your favorite escape moment? What's your favorite Tamika moment? Let us know. Leave your two cents down below in the comment section. Also, let us know who you would like to see on the show next. Um, we're in the presence of royalty right now. So anything is possible. Your suggestions kickstart us off. So go yeah. ahead and drop your, uh, your two cents in the comment section. Me and Bill will take a look at that and bring them on the show. Bill, what's another way they can show support? Like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and make sure you follow Tamika on all yeah. social platforms. Go and download, listen, buy, do everything you can. Get that song tonight featuring Method Man. Get those plays up because I'm telling you, it's it's one of those ones. It's a Probably. it's a little jam. It's that bop. All right, this that bop. this. This concludes another episode of Unanimous Decision. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to And In This Corner.